All right, folks, here we go. It's the 10 o'clock hour now. Here we go. Uh, I'm using the other Note 9. Remember, I got two of them. Check it out. It's coming in here. Damaging wind gust and a tornado possible. If you live in the orange red color, so the boot heel, all of West Tennessee, mm. or anywhere right along the state line, you know who you are. Dukedom area over towards a Perrier in Paris, including Murray, Murray Point South. Media, <laughs> chance of damaging. It's a nighttime video. That's why more confident Ooh. in there being enough instability mm. that comes north to support the chance of severe weather. Oh Here's Lord. what you need to know straight to the point. There's also going to be, not to lose this in the messaging, if you live in southern Illinois or southeast Missouri, mainly a heavy rain event. There could be some flooding there. An inch to three inches of rain tonight, tomorrow morning. This is important. Make sure you have your way to get weather alerts, an app, preferably ours, weather radio, TV, 10 to 4, 11 to 5, somewhere in that range. That's when you really want to make sure you're That's crazy. aware and tuned in. If you're a teacher or you own a business, you work wherever, make sure you've got your plan in place and you have a way to get alerts. So if one does come out quickly tomorrow, you can get to shelter and be uh, watching us if we have any coverage for you when conditions warrant. Main concern still is for damaging wind gusts in Kentucky, Tennessee that could exceed 65 miles an hour. Again, tornado risk is low, but if we do get tornadoes tomorrow, they're going to form real fast and they're going to move real fast because of how strong the winds are in the atmosphere. So through the overnight, We'll get some rain that develops in southern Illinois and southeast Missouri. Stop things at 7 a.m. tomorrow. It's crazy. This is where one to three inches of rain will fall. And there's really not going to be any severe threat in through here. But there could be some localized flooding because the ground is saturated. And it's still really kind of partially frozen. Uh, and it's heck, it even has some yeah. sleet still on it. So there could be some flooding in these areas from one to three inches of rain with the cold front. For the rest of us, though, it's gusty all day tomorrow. Winds 40 to 50 miles an hour. At the peak. Yes, sir. It's like in Tennessee outside of any storms showers heavy at times just 10 30 in the morning now again it's 11 to about 5 11 a.m to 5 that's the window opportunity for possible severe weather it'll be this complex of storms from well it's going to be coming up on us y'all <laughs> like i said we'll just see what happens here i don't know in the lake county by 1 p.m tomorrow the threat for damaging winds or tornado will be from Paducah Point South, especially so in West Tennessee. Our computer models tonight are really highlighting West Tennessee with a lot of spin tomorrow. I do think it's probably pretty likely we're going to get at least one tornado warning tomorrow if you live in West Tennessee. So be, be aware for that. Martin Union City area folks, especially down closer to the Jackson, Tennessee area. Notice on 2 o'clock, I want to make sure you're aware of this. If you're a teacher, or superintendent, or principal watching, this could coincide with kids and everybody leaving school. So make sure you're following the weather and keep it tuned here. As uh, the line is Yeah, if it was me, I wouldn't have school either. I wouldn't have school tomorrow. But we'll go outside. Yeah. We'll go outside and we'll just see how it is, ladies and gentlemen. Wacky weather man. Severe storm that could exceed 60 or 70 miles an hour. There is a tornado risk. It is low, but it is certainly not zero. Make sure you've got your way to get alerts. We'll and we're about, about ready to go up. With Kaylee to keep you safe with coverage if anything comes out. Sunny and colder Friday 42. Sunny light winds on Saturday 50. 63 and breezy on Sunday. 66 with increasing clouds on Monday. And I do think we could have another chance of strong to severe storms on Tuesday of next week. All righty, folks, let's get back up. Let's get up. Let's just uh, go outside. Obviously, you can't see anything, but uh, boo. I don't want, I don't care about any of that junk. All right, y'all, let me get my, let me get my shoes on and we'll go out there and take a look here real quick all right i'll see you guys out there here in a second yeah. oh yeah folks it's still pretty windy out here but yeah, it's not bad i know you can i know i know you can't see anything but that's that's to be expected we're in the dark but um you can hear the wind here's the uh, storage building is right there 
for y'all. Ooh, let that thing lens off. <clears throat> there we go. Um. So yeah, it's it's uh it's something. Um, but I'm not gonna keep the video very long. I've seen something freaking blue. <laughs> Okay. Checking out some music here. So, um, and I did see the Mr. Moon out just a little bit ago. So, but there, like I said, there, there is, there ain't nothing to see here anyway. I just want to just let y'all just listen to it. You can hear. <laughs> um, but, uh, but hey, man, well, we'll come out here in the morning and uh, we'll uh, check it out. I got the, I, I got the iPhone charging, ready to go, getting him, getting that, getting that bubba ready to go. All right, all right, y'all be groovy. It's a Ferris Hill. Um. So, do y'all hear it? And oh yeah, that's right. Tonight. Um, probably about the midnight hour, we may see some storm. We're gonna see some storms coming up in here, up in here. So, uh, hey, who knows? I tell you what, we heck, we may just came but come back out here in about an hour and just see what it's like, and then then do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's come back out here in an hour, and we'll give it a little bit, and then just see what happens, man. Um, so, wacky weatherman here, your old buddy Gerald, February sixteenth, two thousand twenty. Is that right? Yeah, two thousand sixteen. Don't do this. God, I I lost it there for a freaking minute. Um, <laughs> I'm in 2022, February 16th. Good Lord. All right, y'all. I'll turn it back on here in about an hour or so. So, you guys be groovy. I'll turn it back on here in a little bit. And we'll just see what happens here. Hey, y'all. Wacky weather man here. It's after the 11 o'clock hour, but it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. So, fixing to uh, go to bed, man. Um... But hey, we'll be out here in the morning. <laughs> oh, and I got the iP the iPhone all up and ready to go. I may either use that or I may just use the OneNote 9 here and uh, and just see what we get. But anyway, you guys be groovy, <clears throat> wacky weather man. Hey, well, at least well, with the iPhone, I can do uh, I can use the uh, Movie Maker and do the video right there. I don't need to do any of that, so that's actually pretty cool. But anyway, you guys, y'all be groovy, wacky weather man. Sprinkle a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, you can't see, can you? That's right. But, hey man, um, you guys will be groovy. And we'll chat in the morning. You guys will be groovy here. And once again, uh, February 16th, 2021, 2022. Sorry. Yeah, and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right. You folks have a groovy night and wacky weather, man. See you in the morning.